Hello management aspirants, this clip will take you through the toughest challenge which you have to manage as a student vying for admission to a management program and facing the panel. And the question is, why MBA? Why do you wish to do a management program? In this clip, in this session, we will handle the following challenges which are attached to this question. The first one of course is, why at all this question? Why does he ask you this question? when he knows that you've come prepared. What is the right way to answer this question? And what other questions may be asked based on your answer? Why this question? Panel wants to check clarity of thought, statement of purpose. As simple as that, the panel wants to see whether you are clear as to why you are proceeding for a management program or not. There are so many students who have no idea as to why they're pursuing an MBA, why they want to pursue an MBA. They have heard random inputs uh, people saying that uh, I want money, people saying that I want power, I want to uh, work in the corporate sector. Of course, a career in management would mean all this, but all this is not what you have to say. You have to be more specific as to what is the larger plan and uh, where do you see yourself uh, a couple of years from now and how would this management program uh, help you? in that particular plan. Question designed to assess your understanding of management and the domains therein. Anybody who tells the panel that I want to get into a, ma a management program because I am interested in this part of management, marketing, finance, HR, IT, operations. When you pull out a specific thread, when you pull out a specific function of management, your connect with the panel gets very strong. So it's advisable that you confine yourself to a particular domain of management and know about that domain. The minute you tell him that sir, marketing has been of interest to me. As a student of engineering, I got a chance to work on uh, this project and uh, not just to work on that project, I had to, uh, to market this project to my seniors in the organization and, and that particular uh, opportunity came to me as a marketing task and it is there uh, when the management uh, seed was sown and I am interested in a career in marketing management or you can possibly link it to an event uh, which you were a part of that while uh, in your final year of engineering you uh, were a part of this the marketing committee of this event and this introduced you to the marketing challenge but it doesn't stop there the panel will now assess your understanding of the word marketing. And I've uh, seen questions like uh, difference between selling and marketing. Why is marketing required? Is marketing a waste, etc., etc. I mean, this is just one example. Any part of management which you wish to highlight, you have to have a backup for that. Whether it's finance, it's marketing, it's HR, etc., etc. Panel also keen to know how can you contribute to the industry slash economy. The panel is is, is wanting to understand that how will you as a student of management be trained and groomed to contribute to uh, the industry, to the corporate world. So do you have those skills or not? So when you, when you, when you tell him that, sir, I have been an active learner uh, all my life and I have an ability to learn from the environment of which I'm a part of and this is what I've learned in my past, this uh, strikes a positive chord with the panel because learning is, is an ongoing, constant, dynamic process which is absolutely core to the management world. So uh, your skills are important there and the, the way you can contribute to the economy or the industry is, is critical for the panel uh, to assess your candidature favorably. What is the right way to answer this question? Well, there is no one way. It depends on what thread do you want to pull out and then how smartly do you pull that thread and, and live up to it. So um, the answer should project MBA as a means to connect past with the intended future. We tell our students that you have to link it 
with your future, with your with your with your with your plans. The minute you tell him that sir, I see myself as a business strategist, functioning as a, a global business manager, and contributing to the marketing domain of management, particularly in a consumer goods industry. Now you're being very specific. This is what you uh, want to do. Now you go back and tell him that, sir, a management program will equip me with the following skills. A, it will give me an understanding of uh, the different domains of management. B, it will give me specific inputs of marketing management, which I plan to pursue in my second year of management. C, it will give me a strong industry interface. I will get a chance to work on live projects. And this will strengthen my task orientation and uh, uh, enable me to contribute smartly to the corporate world. So these three inputs uh, would be good enough to uh, support your intended future. And, and then if you want to go a step beyond this, you can link it to your past. That's all. I've been a student of commerce and in commerce uh, in particular, uh, uh, marketing uh, really interested me and uh, uh, challenges like market research, like consumer surveys, like uh, brand management, these are uh, dimensions which I now want to explore in detail. And the management program will uh, give me this opportunity. So you have a plan. And this is what the panel wants to know, whether you have a plan or not. Answer to reflect evolution and progress. You may talk about a time-bound plan. I've been stressing on the word plan in this clip because this is what the panel wants to know. Do you have a time-bound plan or not? For example, you tell him that, sir, uh, upon completion of my management program, I see myself uh, as a part of a team in a competitive business environment where I would contribute to the goals of the organization. Subsequently, I see myself taking up higher responsibilities in that particular environment and shouldering responsibilities to uh, ensure project completion. Subsequently, I see myself progressing as a team leader and with the passage of time, I see the scale and scope of this leadership enlarging. Eventually, sir, I see myself in the role of um, uh, an analyst, business analyst, where I would be responsible for strategy and decision making and contribute to the growth and development of the organization. So an evolution is what you have projected. There has to be a journey and you have to take the panel through that journey and you have to uh, weave uh, all this around the management pillar and the skills which it would impart. Try linking it with the personality trait. And this obviously helps if you're pulling out a particular domain of management. Say you want to pursue finance. Now tell him that, sir, I have been good at uh, number crunching skills and uh, data analysis. And, and now I want to understand how this data needs to be translated into information and decision. And, and this is where I would like to pursue a management program. So you are making the claim, you are telling him that I'm good at this particular skill. But please remember, the panel in all probability will assess you on that particular skill. The minute you tell him, I'm good at number crunching abilities, this is bound to evoke a question from the panel and they might give you a puzzle or two, uh, a calculation which you need to do. Try linking it with a particular function of management or an industry sector. We discussed a while back that projecting a particular domain of management helps because the panel is convinced that you are aware of what you are heading for. And uh, if you pull out an industry sector like automobiles or fast moving consumer goods or industrial goods, now this again uh, talks about your clarity of thought. Uh, you are aware of uh, uh, what you are wishing to do. And then, uh, of course, there would be questions on that particular industry. You tell him that, sir, I wish to contribute to the IT sector as a uh, uh, business manager doing XYZ. Now, you are projecting an IT sector. The next question would be, how big is the IT sector in India? Now, I mean, you have to be close to the, 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 the value. Uh, it should be close to around one, 135, 140 billion dollars. And anything uh, 
which is dramatically less or more than this would be incorrect. And if you don't know how big is the industry, it, it, it uh, presents a sorry figure. So whatever industry, whatever function you are projecting, do some spade work, make sure that you are prepared to defend questions on these challenges. More specific the input, higher the conviction level. Somebody is saying I wish to do an MBA because I want to uh, work as a manager, I see myself as a VP of an organization, is grossly incorrect. You are not supposed to give designations, you are supposed to give roles, responsibilities. You are supposed to be specific in terms of how you would contribute. right? And this, uh, this, this specific input is what will differentiate your answer from that of the competitor. Avoid over ambitious inputs. Now, over ambitious inputs uh, would be something like uh, somebody telling the panel that, sir, I want to be an entrepreneur in the next three, four years. I think it's fantastic if you are able to do it, but it is not said. This, this is like uh, something which is too dramatic to, to hold on to. So give him a sensible action plan. Try to strike a balance between ambition and pragmatism. Avoid making random statements like, it's been a childhood dream. We've heard so many students goofing up here, telling the panel that uh, it's been a dream forever. This sounds weird. This sounds weird because uh, uh, I, I don't think that in formative years we dream about these things. We're not even aware of these things. So uh, avoid such statements and try to give him something more uh, concrete to hold on to. And evolution is what we are talking about. If you have to have to link it to childhood years, then talk about your your uh, progress in those formative years. That's a, uh, I, uh, as a student, I was actively involved in various, in various extracurriculars also. I was into these different activities and event management came naturally to me. So I was a part of uh, various um, uh, functions and committees uh, during my school and college days. Uh, and and uh, leadership also um, came naturally to me because I was able to uh, be the class monitor. I was I was able to uh, conduct myself as the class representative, etc., etc. Now this is where you are possibly linking it to different management skills, and therefore the the whole why MBA thing becomes easier to handle. Before we wind up, the third dimension, the third challenge which we need to address here is what other questions can this question lead to? Now the why MBA thing invariably takes the panel on to other domains, other areas, other platforms which they can operate on. And you have to hold on to these platforms. The minute you tell him that, sir, I uh, want to start my own business uh, somewhere down the line, 10 years down the line, now you need to have a business plan. The next question would be, do you have a plan in mind? Do you have uh, a product in mind? Do you have um, uh, the, 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 the financial viability part in mind, it would be incorrect to tell him that so all this would be during MBA. So this is more of an escape mechanism. So some plan has to be there if you are making this kind of a statement. So this question can lead to other questions. You tell him that, sir, I want to be uh, seen as a successful HR manager. The next question is, what is meant by success? What does the HR manager do? Are you aware of the responsibilities of the HR manager? So a brief understanding of the roles and responsibilities of the HR function uh, has to be known. So uh, all said and done, the why MBA part is there because they have to assess you on your plans. They want to see your clarity of thought. They want to see whether you can appreciate management as an opportunity to achieve those uh, plans and goals or not. We hope this uh, clip helps you to handle the challenges better. Thank you.